In the next few slides, we'll explore how to find the p-value or the range of the p-value from the t-statistic with corresponding degrees of freedom. Let's start with the following examples. In the first case, the t-statistic is minus 2.13. The t-statistic follows a t-distribution with 12 degrees of freedom and the p-value lies on the left tail of the t-distribution. In the t-distribution plot, the area under the curve, on the left side of the t-value of minus 2.13 represents the p-value. In the t-distribution table, first, select a row for the degrees of freedom value of 12. Then select the cells within which the absolute value of the t-statistic which is 2.13 lies. Now select the column values associated with these two cells which provides the range of the p-value. Now moving on to the second example, the t-statistic is 2.13. The t-statistic follows a t-distribution with 12 degrees of freedom and the p-value lies on the both tail of the t-distribution. In the t-distribution plot, the area under the curve, on both sides of the absolute t-value of 2.13 represents the p-value. In the t-distribution table, first, select a row for the degrees of freedom value of 12. Then select the cells within which the absolute value of the t-statistic which is 2.13 lies. Now select the column values associated with these two cells which provide the range of the p-value. 